Oh hey, if you're lazy and you love Mother Earth, you might love today's episode. Come back. Bye. Welcome back to Laugh Cry DIY. I am your girl Katie and today I am very excited because we are doing a very green and very creative and very beautiful craft. Why? Because it's Earth Day. But really, every day's Earth Day. We should all try to be more sustainable. So in the spirit of environmentalism, I decided to do today's craft for three reasons. Number one, I want to adopt more green practices in my life. Specifically, I want to start using cloth napkins more. So I thrifted these beautiful cloth napkins at the thrift store. Number two, I wanted to do a craft that would involve items from nature. And number three, I wanted Mother Nature to do this craft with us slash for us. And so we are going to let the sun do most of the work of this craft for us by sun printing on these fabric napkins. Oh, we love it. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done this before, but I think this is a very cool craft to make use of fabric you already have around the house. It's very lazy girl friendly. And if you're someone who has children and you want to do a cool craft with them, it's a great way to employ child labor for a good cause. Step one, get your napkins. You wanna be doing this ideally on pure cotton or silk fabric. I'm not gonna lie, I already have thrifted these. These are not totally solid cotton, but I did a tester and it worked enough. Number two, you're gonna wanna take a beautiful spring walk and collect a bunch of flowers and leaves in various sizes. And when you're collecting, you always wanna take them from the curb that is public property. Number three, you're gonna wanna press those leaves in wax paper in big fat books for like four days so that they become nice and flat. Also collect way more than you think you're gonna need. Now, depending on how many napkins you're gonna do, I would suggest pre kind of organizing uh, your plants. So I have four napkins, so I'm doing four sheets of paper. And most importantly, when you lay everything out like this, you'll make sure that you kind of have an even distribution of things and you will definitely realize that you don't have enough. So you gotta go get more. Okay, more stuff. Next thing you're gonna do is Put down a sheet of plastic or cardboard or something waterproof that you can paint your napkins on top of. Okay, now normally you would probably be working with a white napkin. I am not because these are what I have, but we are gonna dye them using simple acrylic paint and water. And basically the key to this craft is to keep everything as wet as possible because you don't want it to dry without the sun's kiss because the sun's brightness is gonna make the print of the florals and plants. So for that reason, I'm gonna do these one at a time, one color at a time, and I've simply just mixed up a little loose watery mixture of the acrylic paint. I know that probably the existing color will show through a little bit in some ways, that's fine, we're gonna deal with it. But really the key, like I said, is to keep it wet. So I'm gonna dampen it first. I'm dunking it in water off screen. What a great thing to show on a DIY channel. And we're gonna paint it really quickly. Now we're just placing the flowers and things on it. I'm being mindful of putting things in the corners because I know that once it's folded up the way I want it to be, that's a part that's gonna show a lot. And I'm just putting stuff a little bit everywhere, pressing down, you wanna make sure it's nice and flat on whatever part it is. Okay, I have to run this outside. Ah! All right, that transport was hectic. Next color. We're gonna do a kind of a tangerine color. And I have put less water in this one this time because when I went to pick this up and transport it, honestly, a lot of the dye ran off and that's not great. I also realized that being so precise with the placement doesn't matter because once I get it out there, some stuff has changed. So maybe just do it all outside. Oh look, now that we're doing her color, she wants to come say hi. Now, if you didn't know, this is called, I believe, cyanotype printing, which is when you do printing through UV light, AKA the sun. If you're smarter than me, comment below, tell me what you know about it. You can actually buy special solar print dye, which is cool, of course. But if you just need to work with what you have on hand, 
Apparently acrylic works too. And like I said, get more than you think you'll need. It's just gonna be a lot. Oh, would you like to help? Okay, transport time. Don't be a mess, don't be a mess, don't be a mess. All right, listen y'all, these bad boys, they dry very quickly outside. And I'm a little worried that the lighter color ones are uh, not gonna have as much contrast. So this next one, I'm gonna do a darker shade and hope that that is good for that. Yes, so helpful. Really great, really appreciate it. 10 out of 10, bye-bye. Guys, I haven't done this before. You know I don't lie to you. And I think that I might not have enough paint. Let me tell you something about paint. Let's talk about paint rants. You get paint on your favorite shirt, never ever gonna come out. The one time you want paint to stick, it lightens up. Last one, we're gonna do a beautiful purple, which we know is gonna look beautiful with this. You guys, because it is Earth Day, because we're doing nature-based crafts, Comment below, tell me your favorite fact about nature. I'll tell you mine. It's the fact that redwood trees grow so big and so strong and upwards because their roots hold hands underneath the ground. So there's like little circles of them holding hands so that they can all grow stronger. And if you see a redwood tree alone, it's kind of dangerous because it can fall because it doesn't have friends to hold hands with. Guys, the great news is this takes so little time. Alrighty, everybody is drying, fingers crossed. And now we wait and we pray that it's all weighted down, that nothing flies off and that the wind is good and, and we're good. Oh, and also we clean. All right, you guys, it's been a few hours. I came out to check on it and um, wind did great. Great job of messing some of this up. But the good news is that you can see that uh, she did work in places. Ooh, this looks cool. <gasps> oh my gosh. Interesting. <gasps> Whoa. All right, she was absolutely the star, that beauty. Oh, whoa. <gasps> That's cute. Whoa, these ones came out way cooler than I thought. That looks like coral. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Perfect little tulip, how cute. Okay, I don't know where or when this one got completely flipped over, but let's see if anything was salvaged on the front. Oh, okay. Oh, not bad. All right. Well, this has been such an emotional journey and we've learned a lot. I'm gonna throw these in the dryer to heat set them so that I can show you your very big reveal right now. Well, I don't know about you, but I am very inspired by Mother Nature's ability to create something beautiful with almost practically no effort. Excuse me. I think it would be so cool to do this on a t-shirt. You could do this on a paper print. You could do this on fabric and make throw pillows or upholster the seat of like a vanity stool. This is such a fun, cool, creative, different thing to do. My biggest pro tip would be one, use more paint than water. Two, try to get leaves or flowers that are very, very flat and have very clear designs on the edge. Some of these look obviously more detailed than others, and obviously the more detailed ones are the more beautiful ones. Three, do it somewhere where there's no wind and it can be very protected. Most importantly, I'm very excited to have my first beautiful set of cloth napkins, and I hope that you will be inspired to try something similar. Also, if you're interested in more eco-friendly crafts, check out the video linked below where I dyed a pillowcase using all natural dyes. And until next time, like if you want to like, subscribe if you want to subscribe, and shout out to Mother Earth because she is the most beautiful DIYer of all. Peace.